What was the 911 call for? Reckless driver near the clock about. Okay. No big restriction. Was that a reckless driver? We'll probably be able to. Seven. I'm gonna have that uh, 911 call about that reckless driver. Lead over and we stop that the PD at 305. Tango 75 on scene. 3005. It's gonna be a green uh, off-road Jeep. Occupy times one. We're gonna have one additional with me. As soon as we, hey. we, we figure out what's going on here, sir, you'll have your candy back and, uh, you know, we'll get you on the road again, okay? But right yep. now, uh, we just need to to have you hang tight, okay? So you can send for me to go into your vehicle and grab a permit? Sir, have you had anything else but candy uh, today? No, it's, it's the voices in my head just tell me to do all this crazy stuff, man. Okay. Is there a healthcare provider that you normally see on a regular... Okay. Yeah, she he usually drives around with me, but he's out of he's out of the city right now. Okay. Do you have your license? No, it's the only learner's permit that's all they give me and they're they're assholes. So with the learner's permit, usually you have to drive with somebody with you. Yeah, cousin, cousin Billy's in the car. You don't see him? No, I do, I do not. Uh, it was just uh you in the vehicle. No, he's right there sitting talking to the officer. Is that your friend? No, it's cousin Billy. He kicks my ass when he can't just he chases me around all the time. He's do you, an asshole. Do you give him some candy? No, he takes it from me. He's an asshole. He takes all your candy. Yeah, he's an asshole, man. Well that's he's, terrible. How, he how dare me, him? He tells me to do all these bad things. Uh, yeah. He's an asshole. Well that sucks, you know. Well what you should do is uh should tell him that he doesn't belong in your vehicle and you should have somebody else in your vehicle that's gonna it's gonna watch over you a little better. So hey, it, it doesn't look kick, like he has your best interest, is what I'm saying. I should kick his ass and shit. No, you don't want to do that either. So what kind of candy you like? Jolly Ranchers are the best. You like Skittles? Okay. I got oh, the permit. Skittles, Skittles are pretty good. Skittles are good. Yeah, Skittles are Sniper. great. Yes, yes. I got the permit. You did? Okay, great. It, it was in a box of chocolate lollipops and Jolly Ranchers. Oh my god, this guy sure does love his candy. So you like Jolly Ranchers, I take it. In lollipops. I, I love them. I love them a lot. Now, now you do realize, sir, that that your your friend there, he seemed to disappear, and uh, he's he's not in the vehicle anymore. And uh, in order yeah, for you to drive a Billy left. yeah, in order for you to drive a vehicle really? with a learner's permit, you're gonna need somebody that's that's physically there at all times who has a valid license, mind you. So yeah. with without oh, having shit. with without having that person there to speak to myself, that just means that, uh, you know, somebody without a license had to have been there. How about I give you, I go get you some Skittles and you drive around with me. Okay, I I had too many Skittles, okay? I had way, way too many Skittles. And uh, I, I can't eat any more Skittles. If, if I do, oh my God, oh my God. If I do, it's not good, okay? For the for okay. the sake of all toilets That's in the no vicinity, good. it's not okay. That's no good. You, no. you like my car, man? It's the green machine. Well, I like your PJs. That's one thing. Your oh, PJs geez. are fabulous. It's you got penguins on there man. with with candy canes. Do you like candy yeah. canes? I like all kinds of candy. Yeah, you like candy canes? Yeah, only only in Christmas, man. Yeah, yeah those are uh, those are some really really hipster uh, PJs. Five bucks, man. Five yeah, bucks. Yeah, they're in style. Where'd, where'd you get them? Oh, the clothing store down there. I forgot what it's called. Uh, oh, the thrift store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I sometimes shop there for my wife. Why do you keep kind of throwing your arms up, man? What the... He's uh, he's quite frustrated. He he definitely likes his candy. He said one of his friends was with him uh, that, that kind of abuses him. And he was in his front seat. Yeah, but this guy has a learner's mm -hmm. permit, and I told him, "Well, we need we need to have somebody physical to talk to that has their driver's license. If if not, then uh, what he's doing could potentially be illegal." But uh, I was wondering if uh, if this guy had any identification, if he had any uh, types of medical papers or anything. Maybe uh, right. maybe he's got a psychiatrist or somebody that he sees on a regular. Uh. Sure he does. Uh, did you guys get his name or anything like that? I got his name on the permit. Okay. Do you drive? 
Well, if it's you don't drive alone, you need somebody with you. I, I do, I it. do. You don't see Cousin Billy. He's sitting right there making faces at you, man. He's uh -oh. an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I see him. Do you uh, want to Fuck you! Fuck you, Danny. Fuck yeah. you. I think, uh, we'll go make a call and see, see what we got. Yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah, go do that. I'm gonna go in the, uh, the station here and see if uh, we have one available. Yes, hi, I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Doinks. How can I help you, gentlemen? Hey, uh, we got a guy here. They stole my fucking candy, man. They stole it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All Just, right. You, you got uh, the impression. Sir. Hey. Hey, how's it going today? It, it's good, man. They, they stole my fucking candy again. Your candy? Well, uh, yeah, hey, I, I just noticed, uh, you, you... You missed your appointment the other day. I, I thought I recognized you from the window from the office over there. Oh shit. Yeah. What what happened? How come you missed your, your appointment? Yeah, so over there, cousin Billy. He, he's trying to he's trying to draw me and do all this bullshit. Yeah, we were we were we were extremely worried about you. Oh, and the, the other day this this EMS this EMS guy you maybe smoke weed. Can okay. You believe that? Well, you know, you know better. You know what happened last time you smoked a little bit of ganja, you know? Oh, like those fucking monsters. Yeah, yeah. down and, the street. And like I told you, you know, I, I, I wrote you out a prescription. Have you been taking your medicine? I, I, I kind of lost it. Or I kind of ate it. I don't remember. You lost it? Well, how yeah, do you... It, well, I, mean, I told I you. I, I think okay. I ate the whole bottle, to be honest. I you took the whole eating. bottle. Yeah, you I, took I, the I whole bottle of lorazepam I, I and lithium. So. Did did you did you take the lithium that I prescribed you? Oh no, that that that's so that's so my house. Okay. Well, what about the the Paxil? Did you take the Paxil for your depression? I, uh, I I took it once, but it made me feel all kinds of weirdness. Okay, a little bit tingly, a little bit of elect electro sensation. Yes, I wanted to like jump off my roof six times. Yeah, okay, so you might you might be having a adverse side effect and uh okay, officer, um he may be having a adverse reaction to the medication that was prescribed to him, uh which uh incapacitates him a little bit and makes him uh go a little bit from zero to one hundred. I think uh for all due uh purposes we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put him in a uh a medical uh, uh, detention facility Would just so we can uh, detox him out and uh, get him on his right dose. Yeah, he's he's gonna need to be uh, medically detained. Officers, can you hear me? I, I think you got knocked yeah, on his head. I can hear you. Yes, he's he's gonna need to be medically detained so we can detox him and get him on the right dosage. Holy shit! It's holy shit! Holy shit! I saw all kinds of clouds. He's had shit. he's had just a, a little bit too much of. Uh, the medication that was prescribed, he he took more than what was prescribed. Okay. I I wrote down you're supposed to take one pill, one pill a day, from each one. The lithium, With the Paxil. Glasses in the air. We have a new yeah, subscriber. Cut the, cut the I know, I know. Up, you you must be feeling a little bit antsy right now. They show my candy, man. Yeah, I know, and and yeah, I know you love your candy. I have a whole jar of candy. And I was waiting for you on when you when you had your appointment the other day, but but you never showed up. Oh shit. Okay. So now now what we gotta do is we're gonna take good care of you. Okay, we're gonna get you on the right dosage, but we gotta we gotta detox you. We gotta get all of the medication out of you, and we gotta start from <sighs> scratch now. Okay. No, no, I know. I know. Okay, officers, I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna sign a, uh, uh, okay. medical detention, uh, slip okay, for you guys. Okay, if I'm gonna have that slip, uh, at your own convenience? Yes, yes, let me, let me go back in my office, let me, let me get that for you, I'm gonna fill it out and I'll bring it right back out. Actually, I'll just okay. hand it to the officer that's in there, uh, he's, he's actually, uh, he had to use the restroom. So I'll hand, I'll hand that, that slip to the other officer okay. that came and got that me, works. and, uh, yeah, he's he's going to need to uh, have 24-hour care, okay? Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, Dr. Dr. Doinks, uh, 
hand me this paperwork. Uh, okay. And uh, here, let me let me tear this off for you. Is this the the attention slip? Yes, this is a detention slip for a, gotcha. a medical detention for a 24-hour hold. Uh, it okay. says uh, to get to get him detoxed and put on the right levels. So let me uh, gotcha. let me tear the slip and I'll I'll hand it to you. Okay. The waiters want me to take him. Uh, it says right here to uh, to the uh, Polito Hospital. Gotcha. And then I'm gonna tear off one copy for uh, for our records. Gotcha. There we go, sir. We're gonna have to put you in in these uh, handcuffs here for oh, your I own protection. Yeah, I don't want to go to jail. It's just for your own protection, okay, sir. Okay. Uh, well, are we gonna transport them in this vehicle? Yeah. Okay. And then we can figure out your car keys once we're back. All right, sir, have a seat in the back here for me. Take time to markers, man. I caught it that there you go. No I'm going to uh, put the seatbelt on you, okay? Okay. Tell him not to scratch my green car. I, I, I colored that with 600 markers. All right, there you go. I'm going to shut the door. Watch your feet. All right, sir, what, what's your name back there? It's, it's Danny. Candy? Danny. Danny? Yes. Oh, Danny. Oh, good. Good to meet you. You know, I hope, uh, I hope you get the help that you, uh, that you need. And, uh, you know, from what your, your doctor was saying, they, they just got to get you on the right dosage and, and you should be back to normal. Oh, okay. Yeah, Cousin Billy's going to kick my ass when he finds me. Well, hopefully after this stay at the uh, Polito Hospital, you you won't have to deal with uh, with him anymore. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me uh, let me unbuckle you real quick and uh, get you out of here. All right. There you go, sir. Step on out. Okay. All right. So the uh, the county doctor he's he's gonna take care of you and get you the help you need. Um, Here's here's some paperwork, uh, some paperwork for the doctor. We're gonna make sure you get the right help, okay, sir? Oh, and like oh, your, like your doc, like your psychiatrist said, uh, she said it's only gonna be for 24 hours. That should uh, get all of the uh, the bad negative effects that the medication is having on you, and uh, she'll get you on the right prescription. Make sure you take the right whatever they say. You know, just follow what their instructions are, okay? Okay, officer, officer. Yes. All right. Well, you take care and uh, best uh, best of luck to you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes.